How are you guys doing? Uh, welcome to Jerry Fest. I'm happy to be here today. Uh, it's a beautiful evening. Uh, the weather is perfect. So um, I'm going to uh, change the tempo a little bit. We've uh, seen all the uh, performers here who have done a very good job. Congratulations, guys. Uh, so now mine is a little different. It's actually really very different. Um, I'm going to read a blog of mine that I have uh, written. Um, I have um, done lots of traveling around and in my travels and road trips that I've done, I've noticed that there's lots of stuff to see around here in Manitoba and around Canada. And I would like to take the opportunity to not only educate people, entertain people, but educate them also about uh, different cultures and uh, everything around here. Just so you know, Manitoba is one of the most, um, Winnipeg, for instance, actually is one of the most diverse uh, uh, cities in Canada. So congratulations, uh, Winnipeg. Yeah. Um, so my blog is about um, Al the Nomad. So I'm going to read. Uh, so I looked around for a befitting name for my blog, and I found Al the Nomad. So when I first chose this name uh, for my Instagram handle, Al the Nomad, I thought it would not argue well with uh, my potential readers and audience because nomadism may be perceived as being in a temporary or non-permanent state, a term that may be frowned upon, especially in the West. However, the more I thought about it, the more I realized how befitting nomadism is to me based on how much I have actually moved around in my life so far. I moved halfway across the world to this northern hemisphere when I immigrated to Ontario uh, from Kenya close to two decades ago. And I, once I was about to settle down in Ontario, I moved once again west to Manitoba, where I currently call home. As if that movement has not been enough, since moving to Manitoba nine years ago, I have constantly been uh, visiting different places around the country and also across our southern border. These visits uh, happen mostly during the summer when road conditions are the most ideal for long road trips. The seasonal migrations can be equated to movements of nomads uh, who are mostly pastoralists in nature who used to move when seasons change in search of pasture and water for, for their livestock. This moving around may be in my DNA after all. No wonder I cannot help it. My heritage is of the Nilotic group, which is found in East Af Eastern African countries like um, Kenya, South Sudan, Sudan, Ethiopia, Uganda, Rwanda, Tanzania, and Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC. While there is no consensus by cultural anthropologists and historians about where we, the Nilots, originated from, with some thinking the Nilotic group uh, originated from Egypt and moved south to their present-day homes, and others opine that Nilots are native to the Nile Valley and dispersed from the area around modern-day Sudan to other parts of the region. What almost everyone, if not all, agree on however, is that the group followed River Nile, which is arguably uh, the longest river in the world during their immigration. And that, uh, that is how the name Nilot was coined. The bulk of Nilots remained in Sudan, which was later split to form a new country, South Sudan, but others kept moving um, or traveling south. My subgroup, um, Highland Nilots, whose economic activity was a mix of crop cultivation and livestock farming settled in the Rift Valley area of Kenya. Other subgroups in the region are River Lake, who settled around Lake Victoria and nearby rivers and made fishing their mainstay. The last subgroup, the Plain Nilots, which is composed of the famous Maasai of Kenya and Tanzania, Turkana of Kenya, and Karamojong of Uganda, among others, chose to settle in the plains and mostly kept livestock as their economic activity. This group was the most nomadic of all the subgroups. 
Okay, so according to my dad, who knows our family tree back seven generations from myself, his great, 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 great grandfather was a Maasai who had come with his brother thousands of kilometers from their home to a place named Biretua on the floor of Rift Valley where Chaos, a Kalenjin subtribe, which is part of the Highland Nilots, used to reside. Uh, upon arriving, that man was given a local name, uh, Jebor. Uh, he was accepted into the community, given a wife, and started his family. His brother, in his char characteristically nomad uh, nomadic way, said that he was moving further north in search of crocodiles. Nothing is known about where he ended up, or even if he survived the harsh uh, terrain and wild animals, including crocodiles, lions, hyenas, and other predators. Uh, traveling, also known as nomadism, is truly in my DNA, like I said before. Therefore, exploring places near and far is a big hobby of mine. Since I cannot do nomadism the natural way, as in working for long distances and settling, setting calm temporarily, I resort to the modern way that is available to me, that's use of vehicles. I constantly take ro long road trips to visit new places and learn about new environments me, uh, while meeting new people and making memories and learning about their cultures. I do, I do not enjoy flying as much uh, as driving, therefore most of my travels entail driving. Until now, I have covered about 22,000 kilometers of road, mostly in Canada and USA. So far, I have traveled by road to Edmonton and Calgary via Regina and Saskatoon, Minneapolis uh, a few times, uh, Wisconsin Dells, Chicago, Illinois, among other places. Um, we have been to Banff National Park twice already, and a road trip to uh, British Columbia is in my bucket list. We would like to check it off very soon, probably next summer. So when moving to Winnipeg from Ontario, I traveled by road, a journey that took three days through the beautiful jungle of North, uh, Ontario, Northern Ontario. I traveled with my wife and two children who were both below four years um, in, 1998, in a 1998 Toyota Corolla VE. Uh, we were pulling a U-Haul trailer. Uh, on the first day, we left Guelph late morning and drove all day till we arrived in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario at midnight and spent the night. The following day, we woke up earlier and drove for seven hours to Thunder Bay, Ontario, where we took another overnight break. Uh, the, last, the last day of driving took us seven more hours arriving in Winnipeg uh, at about uh, four in the afternoon. So, um, locally, together with my family, we've uh, frequently visited local parks and beaches. We've been to many provincial um, parks like uh, Bart's Hill, White Shell, Nopeming, Steep Rock, a few other places. Give me one second. Um, we've also been to uh, Riding na uh, National Park, Riding Mountains, where a place we intend to visit uh, at least once every year, if possible. Uh, in the few years I have been uh, road tripping, I have amassed a wealth of knowledge about how to plan and execute road trips effectively, and I intend to share this valuable information with my readers via my travel blog. I also share pictures and videos along with concise explanation and explanations and interesting information about my travels uh, in my social media channels. Um, if you want to follow me uh, on my Instagram handle, uh, Hal the Nomad, I'll give you more travel and road trip related stories and also share all the information and cultural uh, important things that I'll get along the way. So thanks you so much for uh, listening to my little story. I just had to put this into a small, I was given five minutes, so I didn't, you know, I couldn't read something bigger than that. So um, I'm having fun doing this and I keep writing and uh, visiting places. Uh, so thanks once more and uh, have fun.